What's up, YouTube, and welcome to Pimpage Pickups number five. Uh, this one in particular is really sweet because I was able to sell off uh, three Scalding Tarns and four Arid Maces of mine for some PayPal cash, and uh, also traded in to Channel Fireball my Tarmogoyf and Vendillion Click and uh, three other cards to uh, come to $276 store credit. So I got a lot of nice pickups. Uh, some of you have seen from trade confirmations. The other one is uh, Mail Time which I'm sure you've already seen, but uh, starting off, uh, I ended up picking up a bunch more uh, old foil border basic lands, um, on average probably about 65 cents for each one. Uh, got them off TCG Player, picked up some from my local store, and uh, this is what I want my um, basic mana base to be uh, for the cube. This one in particular, I, I picked up a few of these. These John Avon from Onslaught. Love that artwork. Got a bunch of those ones. But, um, yeah, so... Gonna try to finish getting uh, the rest of those put together. So that way when people are building their decks, they can just uh, build from all those foil basics and their deck will look really sweet. Uh, next up is uh, Torch Fiend from Dark Ascension. Frenzy Goblin from Ravnica, Spike Shot Elder, Stromkirk Noble, Kelvin Champion. Love the way that old border looks. Mesmeric Fiend, and Tumor Exarch. Is it Charm? Promo. I like the artwork on this. Cloud Goat Ranger from Lorwyn. Into the Royal. Seagate Oracle. Blood Gift Demon. Search for Tomorrow from Time Spiral. Wall of Reverence. Dismember. The promo. Shriek Maw. Now this one I've got a little background story. I got this off of a TCG Player. Um, it was listed as slightly played from the Lorwyn set. And uh, it was only two dollars and forty-two cents, which is ridiculously cheap because Star City wants uh, ten bucks for the uh, Lorwyn set one. Uh, unfortunately, this is the one that they sent to me. You can see it says Lorwyn actually on the card, which means that this is not um, from the set uh, pack fresh. This is the uh, release event for the uh, that weekend release. Uh, so this is. Uh, SCG's got this one at about eight bucks, so it was still a, a really good buy, two dollars and forty-two cents for it. Um, so I contacted the vendor; they ended up just refunding me the uh, the full amount, two forty-two. So I basically got this card for free, which was really nice of them. But uh, unfortunately, it was the wrong one, so I have to go back and try to get the Lorwyn uh, pack fresh one. Next up, got Clifftop Retreat, Miscalculation, Love Blue in uh, the old foil, old border foils. Wall of Roots, FNM promo. I just really like the, the artwork on this one, too. Uh, I got a Never, Never Nero's Disc, FTV. Innocent Blood, very powerful card. Trade Wind Rider. This guy's pretty busted. Especially love drafting him in, like, a, a green deck as well. Blue Green, the, you know, Hermit and a bunch of other kind of token stuff. And then the next card, ooh, Foil Upheaval. And I got a story with this one as well. Uh, this was listed as Near Mint on TCG Player. And uh, it was only uh, listed at like $9.58, something like that. So I was like, man, I'm getting a huge deal on this because it's like easily $20, $25 bucks a lot of times. Uh, so I got it, and the front, I don't know if it's going to pick it up. There's a couple little spots of... Um, like foil spotting you can see right there those two dots there one dot there no big deal to me you know whatever i got such a good price on it unfortunately i can't believe the vendor listed this near mint can you see the back there look at the indentations on the back i mean that is clearly identifiable and requires use of a sleeve thus making it at best moderately played uh so that was kind of unfortunate i mean you can also see like all the whitening uh, that's kind of like on on the back border, but man those indentations. That's crazy I mean, it looks like somebody really Messed that card up um, But again in a sleeve and the front looks fantastic 
Uh, I contacted the uh, the seller. They were kind enough to refund half the value of the card and the shipping. So this card ended up costing me four dollars and like twenty five cents for foil upheaval, and got the uh, shipping refunded, which was really sweet of them. Because I think it was like a twenty two dollar order from from them in total. Next up, foil Xenagos, the Reveler. Just got this from my local store. Uh, shop owner was doing a thirty percent off Star City prices on standard cards. So I think this guy was like I don't know twelve bucks something like that. Next up, Path to Exile from Conflux. Gideon Jura, Rise of Eldrazi. And then I got a Mana Confluence, also from my local. Uh, I was kind of holding out on this card, but 30% off. I think it was like 21 bucks, and I just traded in a bunch of stuff from my binder that I didn't need. So, happy to have that added to the cube. Now we're getting into the good stuff. Check out this Counterspell. This is my favorite artwork. Uh, it's the 7th edition counterspell. No flavor text. It's just real simple, right to the point. Boom. Counter target spell. But uh, it's the artwork that really does it for me. I really like a lot of the 7th uh, edition artwork. Next up is a Revel Arc from uh, Morning Tide. Very powerful. I got a Tamio, which was uh, part of a trade. Now I got uh, Crucible of Worlds, Judge Promo. Really like just kind of the old border on this. That's why I went with the promo. Next up, Foil, Mana Leak Arena Promo. This card is so impossible to find. Uh, I really want to give a shout out to Merfolk Magic 5. Uh, he actually bought this card for me and shipped it off my way. And, uh, and then I just paid him back. But uh, his local shop had this, uh, had a couple of these in stock. Um, TCG player completely sold out, and Star City was sold out at 40. They got three in and listed it at 50. Uh, it's probably going to be another card that uh, just continuously goes up. It sees modern play, and this is like the ultimate form of pimpage for it. Uh, sorry about the camera not really wanting to uh, focus, but um, there we go. It is a damn sexy card. Next up, Sinkhole Promo. Ooh, so happy to finally have Sinkhole in my cube. Got this from Channel Fireball with my credit. Along with Promo Show and Tell. Got this from Channel Fireball as well. But man, love that. Love this artwork. I mean, the other one's really iconic, but I just really like the way this looks. Because this is what you're doing with Show and Tell. You got your little guy down here casting something uh, off Show and Tell, and this is what you're putting in. Boom! Something big. Like an Eldrazi. Very sick. And of course, uh, needs to get the spotlight one last time. Library of Alexandria. Uh, picked this up with uh, some of my PayPal cash. Uh, very happy to have this card in my cube. It's totally busted. And uh, just a sweet, sweet card. And it's in really good condition. So uh, that does it for the uh, Pimpage Pickups uh, number five. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you all next time.